Kenyan marathoner Salome Gerono was recently slapped with an eight-year ban from participating in athletics, adding to the list of athletes banned from taking place in the August 2022nd National Cam World Championship trials for a team to represent Kenya in the World Championship in Doha, Qatar. This now leaves Kenya with 41 banned cases, behind India with 42 cases, with Russia leading at 87 cases. Athletics Kenya, aka Executive Committee member, Banaba Kurir, to this end says the war against doping is unstoppable. The issue of doping has been uh, a problem globally. Uh, some people could think that maybe some allowances could be given to a certain extent, to a degree of uh, allowances, uh, especially when it's coming even to uh, other banned substances like bang being uh, given as uh, medical uh, substances. We in athletics um, find that uh, the issue of doping uh, should not be allowed because at the end of the day we want to have uh, a fair playing ground uh, for every athlete. Apart from unfair competition, doping has several long-term health effects. Kwa maoni yangu vile ninaona eh hizo mandawa ziko na effect nyingi. Kitu ya kwanza wakati utawacha mbiu unaweza kuwa kidi yako ivanye kazi nzuri, unaweza kuwa paralyzed mkono ama mguu ama unapata injury ambayo iwezi kuona hata ukitibewa, hata ukivanywa mazaji iwezi kuona no, na kuwa na hiyo kitu mpaka maisha yako. On the other hand, Kenyan athletes have expressed their views on doping with some supporting its fight while others complained of witch hunt from the western countries. They should at least consider eating healthy and staying healthy because doping will not help you anywhere. Doping needs a lot of money, you will use a lot of money that you can use on food. According to Roger Ekiru, a veteran athlete who confirmed to have doped before, ADAC needs to come up with a way of having regulated amounts of doping by decreasing the number of banned substances in WADA's list of prohibited items such as blood doping. What I'm saying, I don't support doping, but what I mean, they need to use a little bit. There should be a, a threshold, like 50%, man, if they exceed 50%. You know, you, know, this, this, you see, let's, let me tell you, for example, take, for example, Kenya. You know, our altitude, bro, and those people's altitude. So for us to match up, man, it's crazy. It's only through a dialogue that a lasting solution will be found in matters doping among athletes. Emmanuel Toh, Switch TV, Riyadh House, Nairobi.